what seems to be the common issue? I mean, what, what would you say would be your top three uh, champions this season that you're trying to climb? Uh, three champions climbing this season has to be Echo, uh, Warwick, and whatever it is that will counter pick someone. So, like, say they're picking an Evelyn or an Elise, I'll go Zin Zhao or Graves. Okay. Or if uh, just something like that. So you have you have champion versatility, which is which is nice. Okay. Yeah, I've been hard stuck platinum for like sixty years. <laughs> sixty years is a long time. Yeah, no, I, I get it. Platinum for me is is I mean, people in the stream know how I feel about it. It, it it's really just a different universe, uh, where where mm -hmm. ignorance and arrogance and ego all come together to to to, to annoy you for a while. Oh hey, you marked all my problems. <laughs> if the, if you have those problems too, then you have the plat disease. But hopefully we can fix it. Minions, please. Okay. So what what, what was our what was our early game plan here? Because you did three camps. What what do we want to accomplish? Like what lanes do we want to gank? Uh, what was the game plan? What objectives do we want to secure? Because obviously you're against um, uh, Tyler one. It seems Ivan to rank one. But um, <laughs> what did you um, want to accomplish? I, it's a little hard to remember. It was just like five days ago, but like 20 games. Uh, I think my initial plan was to try and get top ahead or bot ahead. I'm not really a big fan of Diana early. No. So um, when I first started clearing the three camps, I was like, let's do something bottom. And then it didn't look like they were trading well. So I was like, all right, let's just test the waters, if not farm. Uh, yeah. So so the issue is Kled is such a... Snow, it's a volatile line. Like obviously the, the video I just put out, people wouldn't have seen it yet, is um, volatility. When you're looking to, to gank a lane, now, Kled's a great lane to gank. The problem is he's, excuse me, always going to be in the shoving position, right? Mm -hmm. So I think being here early to counter gank any jungle nonsense would be, would be healthy, but I think we know already that Ivan started on the blue buff. So uh, obviously it's not always obvious with him, but we know from the replay bottom lane, Ganking wise, let's see. If Morgana hits a binding, great. But Senna has a better binding almost because AOE. And um, Vayne has Condemn. Twitch is, you know, kind of useless at ADC anyway. And then Syndra has Disengage. And Dyn has no CC. So from a gankability sense, I agree with you. It's kind of, it's kind of like which which lane do I actually want to want to float into? I definitely right. think getting the clip ahead. Got to late, we'd win. If. Hmm. I don't, I don't know if you do. I think you do with Twitch mm. if he can go crazy. Uh, and if Dyna can get a Wombo. But Kled is mid-game spiking, you're mid-game spiking. Um, and uh, I've run onto a Senna. Vayne could be kind of disgusting. So that's right. not very good. Okay, so we're invading here. Okay, this is fine. This is good. You can only take one of those camps easily. So we're going to stifle his experience greatly here. I like that. The Kled is lane pry, he's moving down. Everything so far so good. Um, when I go for this. Okay. So I think in this case, we just don't want to get too much into a pattern of we're farming, we're farming. I think you really got to get both Diana ahead and Kled just so that they can win their lanes because they're, they're very snowballing. Understood. I had both smites, so I figured nice. I'd be a little bit aggressive. No, I like this. And this is good. Once I saw him pass up my first ward, I was like, all right, his yeah. ass is mine. Yeah, I like that. It's very good. Q through follow always feels super nice. Especially That's, when they flash. This should be double scuttle, drive by on the mid lane. Yep. There we go. Absolutely fine. Flash the emote. I feel I'm very competent, but I just have a hard time carrying and letting go of my ego. Yeah. Well, that's that's fine. I mean, that's the, we're gonna pinpoint. We're just gonna look for little things, pinpoints. Because sometimes in plat, if you have good map reads, like that was a good map read, right? Um, Ivern cannot afford to chunk all of this stuff. He needs, he wanted level two from the, uh, from the blue. He has to go and, and sort of eat these and then move on back up. So the counter jungling is very good. The next stage is of course, I think here, you see what I'm looking at. I paused as I saw it show on the minimap. Once you do this, once you kill him, right? And this is the biggest thing. This is the absolute biggest thing with platinum level junglers that are good. Okay, there's platinum level jungles, which are Pepe hands, and those that are good, that make good moves like you just did. Um, the difference here is you did this great play, and now you need to basically put the uh, the foot to neck, right? You gotta suffocate this guy, because I know you said, I think we win late game. I honestly think that an ardent sensor, <laughs> Ivan, 
and a center on the vein, if she gets even a little bit ahead, is is very concerning for me. I, I don't think I want to get to 35, 40 minutes with this with this team comp. Um, I don't think we'll get onto them. Obviously, you know, that's a bad, you know, player skill in a sense. But I like this, right? Crab into double crab. There's no ways we gank Syndra. So this is very good for me. But now, where is Ivan going to go next? There's only one place in the entire map that he can go. And that's into his bottom side jungle because you just cleaned him out, right? And if he started mm -hmm. blue and goes down and does all these, uh, you know, he starts charging these up, um, you know, he has to be here. And so he's going to be forced, forced out of your pressure and Kled's pressure. This is very good, by the way. I mean, I know you probably understand that you don't often get laners like this. So that's, you know, <laughs> this is very nice. I think you could set up here for a counter gank or some sort of counter jungling probing. Just to push him um, out. I don't I, go ahead. Problems is um, I've I've a hard time understanding whether I should let someone sink or, or just like um, what's a better way to describe it. Um, the, one of the main reasons why I didn't um, say like counter gank because I figured he would come down there. Yeah. But he, there was nothing else up. What else is he gonna do? Right. Mid yeah. bottom. So I didn't like how um, Twitch and Morgana were playing. They were kind of like iffy. They were getting poked. They were kind of like standing around and getting hit. So I, I tab with my A and S, which are my F keys. Mm -hmm. Control A S A S. Okay, you set it up that way, yeah. And uh, they they were playing really badly. I, I was like, okay, they're either gonna feed really badly and I can help somewhere else, or I don't know. But I didn't want to be around them too much. <laughs> I figured it'd be wasting time. True, but at the same time, right, our goal as junglers, and this is the thing, if you have laners that you feel you have no trust in, that's fine. But that also means that if the enemy jungler gives them attention and gets them ahead, it just exacerbates the problem. And no one's really behind mm -hmm. at this point, right? And they fed right. Twitch, you know, camo, come out, ult, everyone dies. You know, it's, it's much easier to trust a random Twitch than it is to trust a random vein. And as a jungler, your goal isn't only to get these lanes ahead. Now, obviously, she's resetting, right? So you don't need to worry about her. He is up. He's down in CS, actually, but he got double buffs and a kill. So that's great. And he hasn't actually reset either. So he'll get um, a nice item lead on top lane when he does reset. For you, what are your options right now? Okay, well, you felt. Let me go back, get my tier two uh, Gromp and Wolves, right? And then I assume right. reset was the goal to get your tier mat. But you're, you're not far off the team at anyway, but you will get it from those two camps. I just feel like, I mean, I haven't played it obviously, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna see what happens here, but let's, from, from their point of view, he hasn't thought for a second where you are, you know? Um, and obviously I didn't want to do results-based thinking in order to make sure we were assessing it properly. So this is a really good gank by him. And I feel like we should have been in the, like, what I, look at what I see, you know? I see you here. Now, I don't know what you did, right? And that whole time, I don't know what you did. You hit the plant. We start on the grump and we move on down. Right. But I feel like, you know, you made... I don't know if you made that read in game. That's obviously very different, but I think I would have trapped this. I think I would have pressed W around here. Let's see. Where's their vision cut off? They have controls here, so... You know, in this little gap, before he shows, I would have pressed W just to see if he shows. Probing, right. right? And and you hit the plant. You did the work, right? You hit the Scry's Bloom. You got vision. I was hoping that would be enough. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But his angle of approach right now is so good. And it's not because he's necessarily playing well. It's just because your lane's pushed, right? And mm -hmm. I, 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 I honestly think the next step for you, just from this small little thing, is I understand you think your laners are going to feed and be useless. But at the same time, if you counter gank this... Um, he puts him even further behind and he gets even more desperate. Yeah, he's screwed. He's screwed. Because the bot lane has no sums, right? And because they all died while you were farming at level 3, like, let's see, let's see, 212, you know? You, I mean, she's already burned both those sums. Now, if you don't see it because of what, for whatever reason, but I mean, you should be able to at least catch it. Mm -hmm. So, and I don't know if they, if they pinged it, did they ping it? They didn't even ping it, so that sucks, but... If you have your F keys and you already said you re you've um, binded them in a nice way. I'm not perfect, but I try. Yeah, that's fine. Like that, that's for me, your mind's in the right place. I like that. Most people don't even, don't do, don't even do that. 
So, you know, you should have seen some's burned to some degree. You should assume that a first blood kill bottom lane will burn some's. And, you know, I think if you're here, they have nothing bottom lane. They have nothing. Like, what if you're on this Ivan right now? She, he even misses the stun. I think you can turn this. She even uses her roly poly before the gank even goes through. So, I'm not saying necessarily that you guys guaranteed win the 3v3, but I think it's better than waffling around Grump, don't you think? Yeah, I think uh, one of the, my problems was too many deaths early, and it would cause me to fuck up pretty much the rest of the game. Yeah. Give someone the wrong goal, like say Vayne, like yeah. ah, I shouldn't have been there. And maybe I'm being a little too passive now. Yeah, I think so. I think for like, me- I show up, I'm like, ah, maybe I could do something. I was like, nah, fuck it. She shouldn't have binded. She should have kept walking. And then I was like, ah, whatever. Let's but go it's, back to farming. It's not even directly her fault because mm -hmm. yeah, she had a lane shove, but I don't expect a platinum bot laner to be able to track the jungler's intentions. I mean, you, on the other hand, if the quest is to, right. to find or leave this, this enhanced silver elo and you want to get to the diamond one, um, that elevator tracking that you had here, I mean, I'm not sure how much of it was, you know, I've an expertise, a little bit of luck, but it was good. Everything about this top situation was great. And right here, this counter gank, I mean, if Vayne overcommits, even if you hit the plant, right? And you right. rotate down. 1Q. 1Q. Because you wouldn't be here for all of this. They would have overcommitted even before you get there, right? And they don't have vision of you. And they didn't notice that you hit the Scryer's Bloom, which for me is funny. I mean, the Scryer's Bloom shows on you. So if, I, if, if you're in a high low game and this, is, this gets hit and they all get shadowed by the Scryer's Bloom, they probably all back out. They're like, okay, Warwick is here. Let's be very careful. They're not, they're not tower diving and ending up like this vein, right? Yeah, big yikes. Never mind. <laughs> back yeah, exactly. Up. <laughs> so in your case here, they just didn't even see you. I mean... Before his shield is up, I think you kill her. You have flash, you have fear up, you have everything. And they're tanking a mini wave, so I mean, if you get to if you get to kill her with a Q and then fear the center into the mini wave, mm -hmm. her curse is down by like for another nineteen seconds. So, oops, sorry. I think I think this is like a game breaking play right here. Something to think about, because that's the extension of the of the good play that we don't see. Now again. Right. You know, here's... <laughs> I don't know what the hell this guy's doing. Yeah. Uh, but I Bot think this is, bot. <laughs> this is tilt, right? And I think this is... This is this is what you can... Hey, he dodged it. Skills. EU West Twitch. Um, he does another one. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm say that's 50% your fault, 50% their fault. 50% their fault because they should've... Not... He shouldn't have done that. That's, that's horrific. That's just absolutely horrific. Um, the first gank that came around by the Ivern, they were just in a rough situation. You know, it was a good angle, they shouldn't have been pushing. But I think because you knew where he was, you should have been there. 100%. Right. So, Again, two a passive, quick right? question. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. To, to what extent do you delay, like, your power spike, which for me would be Tiamat, to... I don't want to say baby a lane, but I can't think of a, a better... To secure your lane survivability. <laughs> well, think of it this way, right? Mm-hmm. We didn't have enough for teammate anyway. Or did you have 11? Yeah, you had 11.75. So you had right. enough before doing Gromp and uh, Wolves, I think, or you were very close. You would have got that here by killing the Vayne. And even if all you do is disengage, I think you get to absorb a few minions from, from shoving out. If that's what they wanted. I 100% okay. I, I think, I, I think their correct play here is the counter gank. Because it shows, right? I agree. Just such a high level of of tracking compared to the competition. You know, I tracked you here. I annihilated you. I burnt your flash. You have nowhere else to go but Krugs. There's literally nothing else you can do on the map but go to Krugs. So I'm just gonna wait here for you, and you're gonna die, and that's it. Your game is over. And from there, you can reset, get your tier mat, and now you have options, right? I can go gank top lane, and then sequence down, get a dragon. I can go bottom lane, get my tier two Grom, tier two wolves, and get the dragon or dragon first, because you know, once you kill the, the Ivern here, right? The next place he's gonna go is topside. So by that one counter gank, you would force his entire game to be, ch -ch -ch -ch, you know? Reactive. Reactive, right. exactly, and that's what we want. Now, you got your tier mat. Uh, we watched the obliteration of your, of your bottom line. Unfortunate, but un not unexpected. Um, right. What do you want to do now? 
Um, typically farm uh, while paying attention to lane, see if I can get a gank. I'm not very big into counter ganking. Um, I just want to make sure I get my power spikes and mm. be uh, oppressive. I like it. Um, one of my original pop-up videos in 2018 was oppressive jungling with Warwick. So I get the feels. Now, the thing is, right, you said, what's the purpose? Can I delay my, my power spike? Yeah, you can. Now, the issue is you you didn't. You decided to, you know, go for the safer route. But at this point now, the vein is mm -hmm. <laughs> 201 and 800 gold ahead. Yeah. So that lane at is... At this point, yeah, I would just be like, okay, bot's dead. Don't worry about yeah. bot. Mid and top, mid and top. I think she can win. I think I think they can beat you uh, 3v2. You only look for opportunistic ganks here. And if you can get mid lane ahead or a Kled TP roam or a Kled lane gank ult like a 4v2, that's what we want to take. Now, right. you said you wanted to look for top. Now, top lane look for, looks for, to me pretty good. Um, if Kled freezes to a degree. Um, we're going counter jungling, though. Okay, he... Oh, at this point, I just want to see uh, when his shit's going to spawn. So I'm like okay, yeah. poking well, you, I mean, you have that cooldown because you took it. Did you take it? Yeah, you got it, right? You got his... No, you left the wolves up. You left the wolves up. Yeah, yeah, Okay. I feel like this is a little bit... Hmm. See, he's doing the right thing now. His thing is, is let me snowball the hell out of this lane. Okay, 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 here we go. That's free. Good, okay. A little late on the E, but I think it's fine. So for me, okay, let's just, just rewind really quickly. I just want to see something. Did you get this? Okay, so you got the Grom, so you have the time. You don't need to face check it. That's what I'm looking for. So as you come out of the base with your Tiamat here, right, uh, you can see this is spawning, so you know it's going to be up. Uh, but he will see that as well. Um, so I feel... Oops, I went too far forward. Um, you, you know it's not up, right? You know it's not up. Right. So I feel like that's a complete waste of time. There's no need to be there. Um, like he, he, he went and stood there, and he didn't even think it was up. So I feel like, uh, in this case, you either go straight top, um, and before Garen hits six, right? We can use a plant, we can, we didn't get a scan, I think you should have got a scanner, you could have just scanned up and we could have tried something on the top lane. Um, but I feel like this is all just a waste of time, because you should know. You should know. And uh, Syndra, Syndra's a, like, almost impossible gank, unless you have ult. Uh, so we, we could have done something about our own jungle, and got the same play, but that's nice. Now we get to steal his blue. Okay. Good. Okay. We're ignoring Krugs. Ooh. What? Okay. Did you see this? No, uh, stream lagged for like a millisecond. No, did you see, see the Garen? Did no, you see the Garen? Uh, not until I watched it later did I notice that he even put a ward. He just like walked straight down and put a ward. Yeah. But let's, let's, I want to pay attention to the minimap now if the Garen shows up. But I think all that's fine. Just a little bit of wasted time going for the Grump. You know, that's not up. You could have taken your Krugs, for example. You could have Krugs mm. into that top lane gank. Especially um, with time yeah, especially with teammate. Very easy. Um, and once you do that, you can fall down to the crab. Okay. And then steal his blue. So you get the same outcome, but you get the Krugs. Whereas in this situation, um, you haven't got the Krugs. Now we, we see the Garen walk through here. So I feel like that's a little bit of an awareness thing. Like you walk straight over your Scuttle Crab that you took. And when he doesn't show up here, you know there's, okay, he's either in this bush or he's in this bush. Okay. Um, so I don't think I anticipate necessarily that he warded, but the fact that he walks down, I would, I would, Assume he might have, right? It would be on my mind. But otherwise, fine. Why? Why full clear? What was the goal? Uh, did, did you want to ignore the lane? What was your dragon plan? Because obviously we see they're on it. I didn't feel we could take dragon since we were so far behind, so I was giving it up. Okay. I think it's I think blue fine. or ocean drag. I wasn't too worried about Ocean Drag? No, I'm not too concerned about it. It's more just I'm trying to get a sense of your timing, what you're thinking. So for me, um, once the Ivern shows here level 5, the fact that your bot lane reset means I think all in all you're just going to have to give this up. I don't think... I think you're right. I think there's no ways you get this. 
We should just Sorry, focus on I wanted replay. to pick a, a good replay, one where it shows where me actually doing something and still failing fantastically. No, but this while, is fine. Uh, well, um, it, it was an old replay, but even still. Oh, no, it's fine. Like it, it's, 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 I don't quite remember everything. No, no that's, but that's why I'm asking you, because there's, there's two schools of Thor, right? Let's just watch a fight. Okay. Okay. So you burn your flash, you force Vayne's flash to get it. Okay. Okay. So that's not the best time dragon for them because they lose some. So we lose Vayne's sums, we lose exhaust from Senna. You get yourself some stuff. Okay. That's fine. That's a, that's one of those contests that you can kind of say that we have our bot lane re re coming back to, to the fight um, before reset for the enemy bottom lane. So your bottom lane came back with itemization. Their bottom lane hadn't reset yet, so the itemization had almost equ equaled, right? Because she didn't have her, uh, mm -hmm. she didn't have a recurve bow at the time. So that's actually Dead a good fight. Right. That's a good fight, yeah. So even though your bot lane's losing, I think in those situations, people sort of, like, yeah, you probably have to give this up. But in this case, you know, Twitch is coming back to the lane, level five versus level five. And they have exactly the same itemization minus, you know, one dagger. So that's that's almost yeah. neutralized the fact that he was f so far behind just because he reset. Which is why some bot liners don't like this by the Ivan, because they basically say if a fight erupts from this, um, our lead isn't really our lead. And the fact that you've got lane prior on the Diana is, is, is very good as well. So I think overall... Yeah, I think you made pretty the, much cut her yeah. off from doing anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you made the right decision not going in too heavily. I mean, you could have ulted. I think there's a universe where you can try ult, but then Vayne just condemns you out of it. Um, you probably die. I think just giving up the dragon and making sure you get some uh, some uh, some kills on the center and things like that is, is a better choice. See, that's where you outweighing your, what you said, like, I was too aggressive and I died a lot, and then I'm playing too safe now, maybe. So I think we've got mm -hmm. a bit of a combination there. Okay. We're sprinting bottom lane. Why are we sprinting bottom lane? Uh, I think because I smell them. <laughs> I'm like, okay, we might be able to do something. Oh, they're full HP, though. Are they full HP? I yes. have no idea why I'm running yes. bottom then. The, the, the one HP is the Syndra. Oh, it's mid. It's mid. Um, you still vault up as well. So in this case, your camp sequencing is a little bit off whack just because um, we haven't taken Krugs, which is fine. Like You see this quite often. People just ignore the, the Krugs um, quite a bit, especially if it's in, in the interest to sequence the rest of the camps. But you don't have anything else up on the bottom side. So if you go to the bottom side for a gank here, and your bot lane is retreating, this is literally just a waste of time for you. Right. Um, there's, there's no ways you get anything out of this, in fact. Because if yeah, they've had... definitely a mistake to go down there. Yeah, 100%. Because if your goal was right, we lost a dragon, what, what should your mind immediately shift to? Hello, Rift uh, Herald. Top side. Herald. Um, and again, looking for this top lane. Like, you want this... This guy's 3-0. You know, so I'm thinking I've got a Herald that's on the table. I've got Krugs that are level 1. I've got Raptors that are level 7. I have a Scryer's Bloom, a Plant. I could sneak this away. I've got a Control Ward. I should have a Scanner, but we don't. We've got a Topside Scuttle Crab. His Grump has spawned again now, and his Wolves have spawned again. So the entire map is now topsided, topside lobbed. And I feel like going here is just completely seceding control. Mm -hmm. Right? And we didn't have to go down bottom lane to figure that out. I mean, you get a kill here. I hope you would as a work. But I think we could have done that simply by running there directly, you know? <laughs> right. Now, you could have headed to the top side and had the same exact result. Um, you're very nice. Yeah, maybe a little too nice. Mm. No, I think it's okay. Maybe a little too nice. It's shoving into her. I mean... I, I really wanted something else besides bottom to do good. <laughs> or not bottom, but top. So. Because bottom's having a rough go of it. Yeah, but I mean, the thing is you had a bottom end as I wanted to reset because we had the dragon fight. So for me, mm -hmm. um, you see a couple things here, right? Uh, mid lane is now one shot, Syndra's one shot. So obviously you thought it was bottom lane, so you, you're like, oh yes, fine. Oh, wait a second. Um, once yeah. you get there, you realize it's the Syndra. So this is just waste of time again. But if you just run down the mid lane, into the river, you get the same exact play. Um, in terms of our vision control, um, let's see. Oh, what that's we another thing I wanted to ask you. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm not using too much of your time, but it's like wards. I have a hard time, uh, I have a low vision score, and I have a hard time uh, knowing 
what are great places and what are um, proactive um, places I can put my wards. So, in your as case, a in your case, it's more about vision destruction. Um, you, you shouldn't be necessarily be looking to place trinket wards that are good. So, mm -hmm. the one thing I want to connect on is that the Ivern, it was very, very subtle, so I'm not going to blame anyone. It's very easy in VOD review for me to say, well, as Dino's going back, Ivern's Q went over the top, so we knew he was in the situation. But look at his level. He's level 5. You're level 8. Okay? Hmm. I feel like in this situation, you've completely given him time to relax again. Because he doesn't even want to show right now. He's afraid of you because you should destroy him. And obviously, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of um, a Stalker's Blade, but against a Vein Senna Syndrome. Yeah, you know, I can see it. But either way, I'm glad that you're going Warrior with this lead. Right, what's right. on the map right now? Top Scuttle, Top Herald, um, all the top camps. And we're sitting in mid lane, holding the wave. Now, that's very generous of you. And I'm sure you mid laner, you know, yeah, you, you, you spam that. But <laughs> you're, you're giving up, Herald. You're giving up everything for this. I feel like so, you could just leave it. I think you could just leave it because it would, it would push into her anyway, you know? Like she'd lose I a little bit. I just wanted to make sure Tower didn't get too much of it, and uh, I'm not I mean, quite sure look, when's a good time look, to be super nice and when not to. Uh, I, I think here in this case, uh, it's solo queue. We're not in pro play. I think Fuck you can em, easily right? just just you hit some. You know, take this one. You get a bit of team at action on the rest. Um, you, you can just take it, right? The lane's gonna crash in the middle anyway, and Syndra, Syndra's dead. Okay. So you're fine. Just reset it. And go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. But now Ivan goes top lane. In you the volatile lane. Free crab, and let's see. Burns, burns his flash. Good gank. In the meantime, we did raptors. So that's, shall we say, two instances of wasting time with bad pathing and two instances of missed opportunistic ganks. However, maybe I speak too soon. We don't have ult. We just used it. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't have flash. <laughs> Woo. I love Senna, great champion. I love Ivan, yeah. great champion. Right. Skin of his teeth. Skin of his teeth. Okay. What have we done? What have we done since the dragon fight? I think like two camps and dance in mid lane. I think um, like when I get a lead, maybe I'm trying to do too much. I don't, th I, th I don't think it's trying to do too much. I think you just don't keep that pressure on. Right. Um, for me, the whole, the whole, the whole thing is like, as we skip again forward, um, you know, you, you're, you're onto the Herald now, but all of this is happening, you know, seconds after it should have. So the Scuttle dies, which is good. Now this control wood has been sitting in your inventory for what? Since your first back? So for me, that should be placed on the map somewhere. Um, unless that... You haven't placed it, right? I mean, you only got no. You, actually, you might have placed it, but you don't have, currently have I, one placed. So I think if your goal is, you know, sort of stifle and invade and be oppressive, then get those control woods in his jungle. You know, get those control woods right. in the river. Actually, use those spots. But we've given up. What would I, you I, say are, are good places? Because I want to be able to defend them, uh, if not get good information. I mean, it, it, I don't really care if they're destroyed. It gives me information, right? So if if I placed it here, right, as I'm going mm. to gank Syndra mid earlier. You shouldn't have been there, but if, if you are, and you place this on your way to kill her, which you should be able to um, very easily, uh, even if they come and destroy it immediately, all right, now you tell me where you are. That's great. I can do something with that, you know? The information is, is your king. Okay. It's yeah. not about, like, I need a ward to last a thousand years. You just need the ward to give you information. Um, okay. <laughs> this going? is another... This is another... Where are uh, you going? A question I have. Um, I, <laughs> where are you going? Recently, like, when I was uh, playing... A little while ago, I wasn't sure how valuable the crab was. So I was like, okay, let's just get me a little bit of gold so I get further ahead. The Herald? And move on with my life. Herald, yeah. Herald is valuable. Herald is valuable, yes. yes the yes. second one is the one I placed all the value in. Now I'm starting no. to place a little bit more value on the on the first one as well. But I'm not 100% sure This the, Herald. Uh, what all I should do with it properly. Okay, so you're Warwick. Which is why I said mm -hmm. once it's, that dragon is dead and these camps are cleared and I go back to base... 
and you get a low HP target, I say, well, thank you for the leash so I can go to the mid lane quickly. Because all I'm thinking about is Herald. Immediately. I'm yeah. thinking, I know your blue camps are up, I know the Scuttle Crab is up, I know this Herald is up. My camps will be there for me afterwards. Go mid lane, except, you know, instead of from the top side, you can go from the bottom side. I think it's a, it's a mm -hmm. blue smite, R, Q, and she's dead, right? Syndra dies no matter what. Even if, even if, you know, she flashes out or whatever, you have your flash up. There's no universe where you don't get that kill. From there, eat this wave a little bit or just leave it. It'll crash, but there's no threat of a tower play being lost. Uh, I mean, you know, three minions here that you might get is not worth a scuttle plus his jungle plus his herald because you can just shove him up. He was level five. Currently, currently, because of the fact that he has regained control of the map because of the lack of pressure you exerted, he's now level seven. He's gained right. two levels in the time you've gained half of one. Or actually, you were just level, you were fresh level eight. So it's a little distorted, but I mean, obviously he will catch up more than you will pull away, but it's worth mm. noting those numbers. Um, so the Herald, the reason I play so much importance on it is because Warwick is early game, mid game spiking. We want to get as much gold as possible. The towers, resistances scale, the bull plates have been taken, which means the hardest two plates to take are the last two. Herald does true damage to these plates. So trying to use it on a tower that has two plates before 14 is amazing. And you did exactly that. There was two plates left on top lane. We placed a herald. We get the shove. Uh, you hit the plant and kind of ran away from the Karen. I think you could have, you know, it, it doesn't really like impact. It, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's just funny just to see you like, uh-uh, oh, oh, and you just run away. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. See ya. See, like now I would be like, you have no idea what the vision control is, right? You're in here thinking, hey, camps. I just, I would place a control here just for denial. It's not the right. best placement. It's a little stupid thing I do, but I do it in solo queue because they will stop every time to clear it without failure. They want to clear this ward. And it gives you information at this, you know, sort of uh, radius of what wards are actually up. Now, there's none, right? Except for this one. Mm -hmm. But you don't have a scanner yet. So as soon as you go into this jungle, as soon as you go and place this, uh, this herald, you should be scanning. This should be dead. This should be dead. Okay. So their pings going off here mean they know you're in the space. You can see it, right? He's moving up. Um, but place your control in the blue bush at the very least, right here. You know, you have no idea what they see. And I think that's the biggest problem here. <laughs> Good job. You did. He did it after I said it. <laughs> yes, he heard us. <laughs> In that game five days ago, he heard everything I just said on placement. <laughs> okay, but I mean, that's fine. So, uh, I have a vision guide on YouTube for placements. You know, a little bit to the top left of the bush is best. It gives you the maximum vision. Obviously, if you hold, mm -hmm. if you hover as you're placing the ward in game, it doesn't do it in the, in the replay. It will show you the radius of vision you get. So, you can sort of see what, wherever you place it in the bush, what kind of vision you want to get from it. But usually, at the edge of the corner is a little better just... Maximize right. the vision, yeah? It kind of sees around the corner just a bit. Yeah, exactly. Any any bit of information we get. But they, again, see you going down. So I think this this is huge, scanning this. But otherwise, the play is fine. Um, for me, the biggest issue has been so far the, the waffling, um, the counter jungling. That was completely a waste of time where you could have done your Krugs into a top lane gank. The rotation the bottom lane, wasting time where you could have done top lane and gotten everything plus the kill. Mm -hmm. um, yes, you got those things, but you didn't get them because... You deserve them. You got them because the enemy has no idea how to not let you have them, right? All right, um, I see what you're saying. Yeah. What, what do you want to do now? Because again, we're hanging. I feel like we're, we're hanging around. What, what What would you do in this situation? What would you tell yourself to do if you're watching this? Mm, I th we're hanging I around. I mean, we've got might have gotten low. I'm not 100 percent sure. There's like a, a maybe 20 second delay, and the replay bug where you can't see camps. Whenever you yeah, I, 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 I uh, hate that. Around. It's fixed next patch, as far as I can see. It the fucks with me a lot. So, yeah, um, honestly, I don't know. Well, you're you're currently stuck. Blue side, you've taken his blue. You've hit his tower. You're pushing down. Uh, My default, if there's no objectives, farm. But it looks like dragons about to come up. So if it's like a minute, I try and buy another red ward and then head towards that. Even though your, my bot isn't doing so hot. Your red is up. I can't see the exact timer. If you have exact timers um, and you can get to red and go back to base and then head to the dragon on time, I would do that. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, you need to factor in that you've got an itemization spike. You've got warrior. You've got gold that is not spent. Um, like All of this hanging around is pointless. You're not going to save her, right? 
Like she's currently yeah. screwed. She's she's over pushing, but this is not your responsibility. Mm -hmm. um, it sucks. I saw the Twitch coming up, so I was thinking maybe, but yeah, but I mean, Twitch is one three one. I'm not really like she's feeling. dead. So we have to think, right? If she's dead, what could I be doing in this time that actually you know makes this irrelevant? Right. Um, and currently, again, you're going back in a ward. So that's three things. You've walked in over a ward three times. Um, and now they're going to stop you. And now you don't get to reset for the dragon. Oof. Oof. Ivern gets caught out because he's bad, right? Mm -hmm. And you'll get the dragon because of this. Um, and, Vayne, and Vayne is pushing bottom lane because she's bad. But none of this should be happening. But, I mean, uh, it's tough. Results-based thinking will tell you, hey, you did a great job. Good good CC yeah. stacking. Good CC stacking. Right, that's great. That's free dragon. Guarantee he's in. We should be able to fear him out. There we go. It's just, you, you've been out too long at this point. Reset. There we go. Okay. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. I'm going to write down waffling in big letters. Oh, Yo, man. <laughs> Yeah. Right. We have to think, at this point in the game, as you're wandering around here, I have 1,500 gold. There's a big dragon coming up. We just got Herald on the top side. Kled has a whole bunch of gold that's unspent. 1,200. Mid lane has 1,100 that's unspent. All of this is your gold lead. Currently, you're 21 to 19k up. In my mind, I'm thinking, right, the red buff is coming up, but this dragon's coming up big time, and there's a scuttle on the bottom side. So... If the timers are farther enough apart that say that say the red buff is coming in like one minute, right? Uh, sorry, two seconds. One, two, two seconds. You can easily have, instead of waffling around this after you take his blue, go and sit there, take your red just so you have it. Um, and then normally you don't want to take it when you go back. However, because you're going to take it and go back to base and then go for a fight, that red buff could be absolutely huge for you. Now, mm -hmm. you shouldn't be backing right in the situation anyway. Um... And yes, you end up being in the right place for the Ivern Collapse, but I don't think they needed you at all. So in theory, your decision here to, to wait as long as you did was flawed, right? Just a little bit. Right. Um, because we should basically be saying, right, she's dead. This is, this is her problem. My goal right now is to get itemization reset so that I can actually control the fight at the dragon. Because you have the gold lead right now. So again, backing in the bush with the ward. All of this waste of time. They all stay, they kill Ivan, they do not need you for it. You know, again, in the time that you could have taken his blue, taken your red reset and got atomization, and maybe been like, let's say here, okay? Um, we haven't done that, and we're relying on the enemy making stupid decisions to get us fed. Rather than making the decision before it happens that actually makes sense. But given, given the events, you played them well. Does it make sense? <laughs> Like, I, I understand. What yeah, you're this right. is exactly why I purchased coaching because yeah. I know I'm doing something wrong. It's it's those moments where you sort of hang around way too long. So like for me, and we've ignored our crugs. I mean, you could have taken them at least. I mean, if you're gonna sequence top to bottom, which is what it looks like you're doing, I mean, you could easily just go to to raptor to crugs to red to raptors. Um, obviously they were stolen, but. I feel like ignoring them entirely is a little bit too, too bad, too right? Uh, because you're Warwick, you're from the, it's so quick to farm it. Um, it wouldn't have, I mean, in this case, what are you looking to accomplish? I mean, there's nothing on the top side. This is not pushing into him. Uh, mid lane is shoving in. I think we need to start to look to this mid lane and getting this bottom lane tower. So either you go bottom side and clear these camps and then try something bottom lane. Or if you feel like you want to farm a lot, right, let's just sequence down into a mid lane gank. Because uh, you've got ult up in what? Nine seconds. So you could be here to make a play. You could have just done Krugs, Red Raptors, in theory, and then gone to mid lane to actually use your ultimate as soon as it's up on the Syndra, or at least burn her flash. Um, Diana has flash as well. I would have I would have looked to do that. But again, you don't have a scanner. So for me, you, you're missing out. Huh? Let's look at their vision. Scanned. Like, as you come to gank, you would scan and say, oh, right, it's warded. <laughs> As you come to gank, you're, oh, right, it's warded. Uh, currently, you have no idea what they see, and it's, I think it's hurting you quite a lot. Because you're making decisions only based on what, what you see, not what they see. You're not thinking about what the enemy jungler is thinking about you. And I think that's a big thing. Here we go. We see the Ivern. All right. But otherwise, 
Otherwise, you know, you farm so quickly at this point. Top to bottom sequencing for bottom lane lane gank. That's fine. That's good. That's sound. I like, I like the principle. Let's look at this though, ladies and gentlemen. Watch this. You ready for it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you saw it. <laughs> My toes. <laughs> <laughs> My toes. Boom. <laughs> Spotted. <laughs> yeah, we gotta be very careful. So if you want to um, lane gank, it's, it's slanted slightly, right? Just remember, this slanted slightly. Just a little just bit. standing there menacingly. <laughs> Gold Warwick, ready to go. And I love, the, I use this chroma a lot too. It's my default. I love it. It's, it's such a good one. Yeah. Um, kind of yeah, it's a good skin, good chroma. You know, I feel like Syndra's so horrible to gank, but, you know, with ult and fear properly channeled and with flash, with, Sin with Diana's flash and ignite, I, do you kill her? <laughs> I hope so. She doesn't have that much HP. No, I, I hope you kill her with class. this build. Like you've got CDR, you've got you know you've got AD. This guy's not shoving top lane. So from a macro point of view, you have to realize that the harder the clutch shoves, um, the more the team is going. The enemy team is either going to collapse and try and deal with him, and if they don't, he your clutch's going to have to roam and do something about it. So you should try and play a little bit off of him, as well. But right. uh, this is so far is fine. But unfortunately, you were detected. Then your entire play is, is Pepe. Oh, oh wait, wait, I gotta watch that in real time, excuse me. All right, sorry, Twitch chat, here we go. I mean, why are we going back, what do we have? We have 600 gold. Mm -hmm. Yeah! <laughs> Don't worry, all Warwick mains know the pain. Okay, that's, for me, for me, the decision is sound, the execution was really bad. And we should not have gone for it. Um, save the ulti. Try save the ulti. I mean, they've got no vision here. I mean, if you had a scanner, you could hit the plant and actually go and scan this and then be like, okay, they don't see me. And then you get a much better ganking angle. Right. So you know, you're trying to do a lane gank here. Um, when would be a good time to keep said um, yellow trinket or first back. opt in for Latest, a red one? Okay, so if you're high or low, you place the ward, you go back. You get um, you get your control. Uh, you get your uh, scanner, right? Because everyone's gonna walk yeah, down. So you need seconds. to see what they see, right? For lower elos, I always say keep your keep your trinket. Just because when you do have those early starts, buff buff grump clear, you can place them down for your laners and for yourself for your tracking information. Because people don't always do things logically, so it's very easy to track a challenger jungler and say like, yeah, he's gonna do X Y Z. But for for a platinum jungler, yeah, pff, hell if I know sometimes. So having that ward early can be very useful, but on the first back, always control ward, uh, oh, bit. control ward and scanner. Because you're missing out on so much because you don't know that they see you. I think that's absolutely huge. Like here, you can hit the plant, right? And hop over and scan. And now you don't know this, right? It's easy in the replay for us to look at this, but I'm looking at it very tightly because you see this ward here in the tri bush when the replay catch up, catches up, it's dying. And it dies at 1611, and that's exactly when you get spotted. It's exactly when you get spotted. So if you had hopped over and started scanning and hug hugging the walls, you could be in the tri bush undetected right now and have a really good gank. Like, a, oh, not a really good, but a much better gank than this lane gank. And this is not a good lane gank, huh? I yeah, mean, this is not a good lane game. Yeah, it's a desperation game. This, this wave is pushing in. You can't even get into the first bush. If you cannot enter the bush here, then, you know, you're, you're wasting your time. I still think sequencing down into probing mid lane to burn her flash, if you don't kill her, into bottom side control, and then trying to transition into his jungle, get deep vision, and then collapse in the bottom lane with Diana would have been the play. Because right now, look at her. Um, she's just battling it out with Syndra. So we need to give her an incentive to say, listen, Diana... We need to do something about bottom lane. You need a third, a, a second person to help you gank it. And I feel like instead of doing the full clear down into this, this, this lane gank, which is very tempered and basically saying, I don't have control, we're playing safe, which isn't true. You're winning by a significant amount at this point, relatively. I think going for this crab into this gank with Kled, right? Mm -hmm. Gives you either a kill or a guaranteed 100% flash. From there, you can all transition down into his jungle Put your control ward down that you should have another one of. Use the plant, the fact that their vision just died, which I showed you it just died. Um, and then you could look to dive bottom lane. So 
there's, there's definitely a play here that isn't as safe as you've made it. Because you're, you're just stuck in your own jungle. I mean, you had a three-level lead on a guy. You had a three-level lead on a guy. You still have a two-level lead on him. And I don't see you going into space and being oppressive, which is what you wanted to do. Right? Especially topside. Especially topside. So far in. And, like, Kled's bored. <laughs> this dude, he's shoving and clearing wards. He wants to do something. He needs to do something. He, he is win con. Right? He, he, you and him are the win condition. You're both 3-0, and oh, and you have a huge lead. And we just, um, he just walked through that blue side jungle, got detected. You went bottom lane for a lane gank. Your bottom lane is doing what you should be doing, but you know. I didn't see that. Nice. <laughs> All right. Do we need to flash this? He didn't. He shot and then he flashed. I mean, if you had your ult, you don't need to flash it. Oh, my bad. 20 second delay. I thought you were talking about Twitch. I was Not too. <laughs> oh. Both of you. Both of you. Both of us. What? Yeah, so your, your bottom lane rotates up for this collapse in the mid lane, and you stay to farm. So again, you're a little late, but if you're in that from the beginning, no one dies. Like, your bottom lane basically says, okay, we roam up, and you're like, well, thanks for the cannon wave. Nice. But, I mean, if I'm looking at it from this way, Kled has just been waiting for, like, five minutes to do this. You know? He wants to get into the mid lane, but your bottom side. So I think there's a few moments where there's been fights that could have been taken that your team has shown, hey, we want to take them, and you're not there. Like here, you just need to be disruption, right? Fears, you know, if you're in this fight, fearing the Garrett, fearing the Syndra, um, you know, maybe, maybe your Clud can survive, but in the end, it's not so bad. The flash is manly. But now, what's interesting is, what, what do you want to do now? Like, well, what's the next objective? Because I keep saying to you, what do you want to do? And rarely do the words come right, I want this tower, I want this dragon, I want this herald. It's always... Um, not those things. <laughs> like, where, where are we going, you know? Like, you go topside now, we skip our, our raptors. See, so... Camp sequencing is great, right? I love camp sequencing. But, I mean, you could have just taken the Raptors into the Krugs. Um, mostly because those Krugs are level 1 and the Raptors are like level, what, 10? 9? 10. There you go. Nice. Coach, by the way. So, you know. I don't know why you skipped the Raptors. Because you have to go back down again, right? Mm -hmm. It's not... It doesn't impact anything in this game, but it will impact things in other games. But, you know, just take the Raptors, take the Krugs, you can loop on down from the top lane, you get the Scuttle, you get the blue buff invade. Everything happens as is, you just save yourself 5 seconds, 10 seconds. All right. And now we gotta be very careful. No, oh, this is very not careful at all. I remember eating and being upset with myself at this. Yeah, I was trying to get away from Garen. Vakai IAI is in the chat. <laughs> yeah, th this is what we call a forced fight that we didn't need to take. I do these a lot, especially when I feel like nah, losing. Nah, nah. You, you're not losing though. That's, that's, what I'm, that's what I find quite funny is you think you're losing, but if you just looked at the KDAs and the CS, you're not. Mm -hmm. I mean, Twitch is still 3-3-3. Three, three, and three. He's down 50 CS, uh, 40 CS odd, but he's 3-3-3. Three, three, three. He has more KP than the Vayne, right? And look at the atomization. Exactly the same, minus one dagger. So in-game, I can recommend you press tab and actually look at the itemization, look at the CS, look at the KDAs, and be like, oh, actually, this ain't so bad, <laughs> you know? And and for me, this is all so forced. Like, what, what's more important here? Taking this blue buff from a guy that can just smite it anyway, or, you know, high herald number two. Bachelor number two is, is in the pit. Let's go. Sorry, bachelorette before chat says anything. Um, yeah, I, I feel like this is just so unnecessary. Because you put yourself in a choke point, you force your team into a choke point with a Syndra, 
Garen who spins to win like a fidget spinner, and, and this dude who just puts a daisy and knocks everyone up. And then we, we, do, we do the Warwick thing where we fight when we shouldn't have. I feel like simply taking the, the raptors going up into the Krugs, hitting the plant and just starting this as soon as it's up is the win. Total win. Because once you get that, now you can finally blow up a mid lane. And once you summon this pressure mid lane and, and Herald shoves a tower, now you've got bottom lane pressure because he's by himself. You can always rotate down this way, okay, into a bottom lane push, get yourself two, three towers, back and reset for the dragon. Does that sound better than blue buff? I don't know. I really like blue buff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds better by far. You know, like it's it, it sh we shouldn't be in this situation whatsoever. So do we? Do do you end up giving them? You give them a scuttle. They don't scuttle either. Holy Jesus! <laughs> yeah. right, they don't. They don't return either. They're going straight for the dragon. So like in this case, you could have taken the herald re reset. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, bought some itemization, you're going for the early GA, uh, you don't really have anything, but you get a, you get a cloth armor, that's fine, help you a little bit. We get this crab down at the bottom side, we get vision control, you get hit the scryer's bloom, and look, they got deep vision, so you should be scanning that. And now you've got all the macro play. You could drag an advantage, right? You've got bottom lane twitch actually getting a tower without any pressure. Uh, Garen has to deal with top lane, like this, this for me is, is... Look at that cled. You see, this guy's... Power spiking. If you can get yourself a Clud duo, no joke, do it. And gank his lane once, and then enjoy the rewards. Okay. But again, we don't have Herald. So now everyone has to reset. Okay, so this is good. Twitch chat, this is very important. Right? As, as, well, as well as for key, because a lot of people don't understand when to farm in the mid game. If you have no need to go back to base, right? Because you died, because you're silly, or because you just went back, right? But your team has to reset. You can either reset with them and go get some, you know, valuable control wards, which are always nice. Or if you really have no slots, now you can actually farm your camps. And once your team pushes out, we can rejoin them. So this, this, is, this, is, this is good. Like, this is the good time to farm now, because there's nothing you can do. Right? We need to wait for our team before we can do anything. Yeah. But you're walking up wards, huh? Jeez. Yeah, that's like ward number 62. Like, oh, <laughs> so many. We should have counted yeah. and, and, you know, done shots for it because, yeah. yeah. I don't know. No, it's a drinking game for you. It's a drinking game for you. Saturday night's going to review your games. Guy. You what? I, I'm a small Mexican guy. That, that'd take me out real quick. Yeah. I normally don't always go uh, yellow trinket. This is one of the few games that I do, but I also He's hurting don't your big time. red, red trinket that much. So, what did I just say? Your team is backing and resetting, so now it's a good time to farm. When our team rejoins the lane, so you went back to base separately to get your GA. So this is an item spike. Now, I don't think we should be worrying too much about sequencing. I think we should be worrying about shadowing our, our ADC. I think I would be very nervous um, going to an edge camp that my laner could take when when this is happening. Because our whole team could be, could be collapsing right now. Like if I look at my map, you know your blue buff just spawned. Cled's on the bottom side moving up. Senna's there, Syndra's there, Garen shows bottom side. You have no idea where Vayne is, you have no idea where Ivan is from your perspective. Okay? And we don't see them. But now we see Vayne, you see? So if you were shadowing, and at least being on Raptors, you could be in the area to disengage, help wave clear, and so on. Now, should he have died? No. All right, obviously that's, that goes without saying, but I feel like, once again, you've put yourself really far from the action on the map. Um, not because farming is wrong, but because the farming is just a little bit ill time. Like, I don't... <laughs> Why? You know, I've I've gotten to plat one multiple times, and this shit still happens there. I figured. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. I know. Nah, it's. I know. This shit happens in okay, diamond one. <laughs> okay. Imagine the universe where you're shadowing, or you anticipate this kind of action, and you're there at the beginning of the fight, mm. and you have herald. 
because you should have taken it before. That's game winning. That's absolutely game winning. You win the fight, you kill the vein because you did, you chumped her soul. Now we have Herald. Um, Syndra's horrible, but at least with a cannon wave, you've got significantly better times, uh, significantly more possibilities of definitely shoving. But there's, at this point, so much ARAM action around these towers. Um, if someone takes a really bad fight, just as a sort of general principle, and you happen to be in an edge camp or on, on the scuttle, and your team loses right. this, don't rotate to clean up, right? I feel like that's a little bit too... Too teamy. I mean, if you had Herald in this place with this with this wave, this cannon wave, I feel like you could use this to decompress the situation. Just as a sort of FYI, because you rotated and obviously we got some kills and everything happened, but we don't want to ARAM, right? Um, we don't want to ARAM, but again, this, everyone does this. Would you say what happens in this game? Like no one does anything for the next five minutes. So would I you say I'm the game was lost in that moment? Uh, I like say the feel the momentum. Earlier. A lot earlier. No, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. No, no, no. I'll tell you I where really the clear. game was lost right here because you got them the shutdowns and the leads. The um, the 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 potential to to wit, like sort of hard carry the game um, was lost when you didn't take the herald. When I went in and died. And and you went bottom lane for that lane gank, yeah. Like here, this 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 moment here, you give up control instead of um, ganking mid lane and getting her flash. You rotate late to the fight. Yeah, you get something, but again, because you just cleaned up, you just stopped the bleeding. But no one gained anything, right? It's all neutral. And if they have a better late game comp, then you should not go equal with them in those situations. They love going equal. A vain team comp that's late game with Ivern and Senna and Syndra, who's going to one shot your Twitch, loves. Um, Going equal in fights. They love equal gold situations. It's currently, you're only 3k gold up, and that's not enough, right? In terms of the scaling. Um, so for me here, right here, this is where you gave up control totally. Instead of going for the Herald, right? Um, your team does a good job getting kills, and you do a good job getting the dragon. So it wasn't the worst mistake. But then the second thing was that sort of gave them the game was bot lane doing stupid things, but at the same time, you didn't anticipate any action. You're still very relaxed for me. I'll go do the Krugs. I'll go do it under the Raptors. I'll rotate to the situation if something happens instead of being there from the beginning. You know what I mean? Right. I, I typically don't want to quote unquote waste my time. So I'm not exactly sure. Um, like, Hey, there's no objectives up right now. I'm just going to keep farming and then watching, seeing if something happens. The objective here is you got a one, three, one. Mm -hmm. Do you see it? Okay, I see what you're saying. You got to so know where other people are. Yeah. So be proactive. Yeah. So the only thing stopping this, right? So in, in terms of a real macro situation, this would be kind of the final thing we say. You've got the, the, a fed cled on the bottom side. You've got a Diana who's 0 3 and 2, but is still Diana. Um, you know, you can't control it, but you've got waves pushing here. Cannon wave into another wave. He's waiting for this one to rotate. The vein shows up mid lane, so their option, what they want to do to stop this, is team fight you, win the fight, shove and, and and gain control, forcing your split pushes to have to give up their you know their enterprise. But you're right. here, and I think you just got GA, so there's no sort of immediate need. I don't know if I would have gone GA so soon. You're very very squishy. You know, I might have still gone for the... You know, when you go Warrior, Tiamat, and you go into Tanky, I think I still might have done that. Um, I would like to... If you have a lead and you're going to use it, I agree with you. Yeah. But at the same time, right? A little bit of itemization. If you have a stopwatch and you haven't used it, why upgrade to the GA? Because basically you've wasted a stasis. Like, you don't I have to upgrade it. I, if I don't use the stopwatch when I get the GA, I either buy a second stopwatch so we can like hard win a fight by as much delay as possible. That's one of the reasons why I go the build or to um, like, I'll use GA, well, quote unquote use, and yeah, then I'll yeah, get yeah. the stopwatch. So that next fight, I can still have another stasis. You could do the same thing whilst, but while also saving yourself 650 gold. Mm -hmm. You just use the stuff what you have. have a, <laughs> yeah, I don't always have a, a situation where it would be. Yeah, but well, then useful. then you don't need to go back and reset for that GA. You could have just stayed out, right? 
Like if you have BF Sword, Chain Vest, and Stopwatch, and you go back just to complete it, why? Um, especially in that situation, you could have done your full clear and then shattered mm -hmm. mid lane. You know what I mean? And still had the benefit yeah. of the stasis. Now when you go back, now okay, now I can buy the GA, I can buy some HP because you're gonna need it. I need to get Spirit mm -hmm. Visit this game, um, or at least some kind of magic resist, just for the Syndra, because otherwise you will one shot you. But currently, my point more so is you've got a one three one currently set up. They're going to want to try and group to deal with it. And if you're not there and your bot lane engages, which they shouldn't, but if they do, they're toasted. And it forces yeah. the Kled to rotate up, which is what he does. And it forces the Diana to do whatever the hell the Diana's been doing. Like right now, imagine if you can hold this with your team and let Kled actually pressurize his tower and let Diana actually pressurize his tower. Like I would be pinging this for my team. I'd be, guys, go. We'll hold. No problem. Like we can, we can wave clear this a little bit. Go and actually force them to retreat from the situation. But because you're on Krugs, you know, you, you have to give up that control and your entire team collapses, which is fine. You can do it too. I just don't like it. Right. Um, I like it in terms of the fact that Garen's bottom lane and Ivan's top lane, they're both dealing with the split push, right? So now technically, yeah, we want to go all in. But again, you were late to the fight. So um, Twitch dies. There's no CC. There's no fear. And instead of cleaning this up 100%, um, we only get one. And then Garen comes in. And then Ivan joins. So that's what the game's lost. Like, that's when... Yeah. Like, they've got... they got a gold lead now. Yeah. That's well played by them. And then you basically will just lose fights. Just watch how my stuff break. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're not gonna win that. As I said, Senna, I've run into that. How, how do you kill anyone with this build? Yeah, like, oh. you, you know, you you killed someone because you're Warwick and you've got healing in Q, but like you just wasted 650 gold on another stopwatch. Um, I feel my engage would have, uh, should have been a little bit better on that. Yeah, like, yeah, but I mean, more. like, what, but, what do you engage or appeal in this situation, you know? At this point, I, with this build, if you don't kill someone, if you don't assassinate someone as AD Warwick in the back line, you're useless. That's the problem with the build. useful as well. I, I, I hear you. I understand. And I will be trying out the, the other Warwick builds. But well, out just of all of them that I've used, this one is yeah, my favorite. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. I like it too. I'm just saying in terms of the game state, right? In this state, you had a 1-3-1 yeah. one, support one push, a bit of HP and tankiness just to peel off that, that engage that they have. Gives you the team mm -hmm. fight win. Gives you one, two, three towers. Gives you Baron Pryor. Um, that's all. Like, dynamically atomizing yourself to the to the macro state as well is, is important. People don't do that. They own... Yeah, CDR boots is is AD Warwick. You can do it. It's fine. Um, but... That's the game. <laughs> That's it. When you're smiling, the red buff away from the Twitch. That's it. Everyone has given up. <laughs> Tilt. That's it. No, you're not winning anymore. <laughs> That's it. Game's done. <laughs> yeah. So, so in summary, um, uh, if you have such a great invade started tracking, don't be afraid to set up the counter gank and, and really put the guy super far behind. When you're farming in between waffling, make sure you're doing it because you're telling me yeah, i want to farm and you don't so that's just something you know if it's time to farm farm secondly um when it comes to uh, prioritizing the dragons and heralds the first fight was good you waited for your bottom lane you didn't 1v9 try to steal it that was actually very well uh, that was actually very well that was actually very good um and then afterwards the biggest problem was you wasted time fighting bot lane for no reason whatsoever instead of going top side and taking everything like you had everything you were three levels ahead, and you could have made it four levels, which is disgusting. Yeah. So I think that's worth thinking about. Make sense? Cool beans. Cool uh, beans. Yeah, I wrote a, a bunch of that down, and uh, definitely we be, be watching this maybe once or twice. And yeah. um, I will definitely be buying your services again or getting more coaching, whatever the... Look, if, if you're stuck, the best oh. thing is to get coaches. It doesn't have to be for me, obviously, but like in general, right? I always recommend people who are stuck. You need coaching, not necessarily. Because right. uh... I, 
I keep going to resources. plat one and then plat five and then or plat four now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know that's not really good at all. Even diamond four isn't good. And I want to be. Well, good. it's relative. I, I mean, look, like diamond four is still good. I mean, it's better than ninety eight percent of people ever get. So the only people that will tell you it's bad are people beneath you whose opinions don't count. Um. Or, or the super high elo who have egos the size of a planet and also don't count because it's not relative to them. It's like LeBron James telling you, you went to D1, uh, D1 school, you suck. It's like, no, <laughs> I went to D1 school. Like, yeah, I'm not LeBron, I'm not pro, but I'm still good at ball, right? I mean, that's it's perspective. But just be the best version of what you can be. That's all you can ask. Hey, I appreciate it, bro. Thank no you. Problem. I'll leave the VOD up and I'm, it might be on YouTube. People like work, so we'll see. But yeah. Either way, I hope it helps. Good luck. Keep your mind right and uh, don't tilt your ADCs. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Peace. See ya.